Hey, good evening, everybody. Welcome back to another episode in the series of Turn Back the Clock Tuesday. We rip open old boxes here every single week, and today we are heading back to 1998 with a hobby box of Topps Chrome Series 2, looking for refractors, insert cards, and a few prominent rookie cards of um, Corey Lytle, Michael Kadire, and Troy Galas would be the big names. But refractors, on average, about two per box. Hopefully, we'll maybe even see three. And this is a 221-card series. And every single card, even the inserts, have refractor parallels. So let's go ahead and slash into this. Thank you guys all for being here. Hopefully, you're all doing well. Take my time opening these boxes since I am a hoarder and I keep them. But um, pretty excited for this. I've never opened a pack of these. 98 was, I think, uh, I was already out of the hobby by then. I think it was the last year I played baseball, too, was 98. And um, didn't pick it back up until about 2014 or so. We got four participants. Chris A in the top left. The top right is John C. Bottom left, Craig B in Novin SLD. And Joe Yankee in the bottom right. So, let's see what we got here. Uh, one of these three-row boxes here. Hey, Parker Card Breaks and everybody else. So every single uh, stack is gonna have six packs. So we're gonna start off with the top left. Gonna have six there. We're gonna start off with Chris in that stack. Four cards per pack. Let's uh, see what we got here. Chris A, you are in the hot seat first. <clears throat> Let's get to cracking. Yeah, Shane Reynolds on the back here. Hopefully these aren't stuck together too bad. I actually have in the freezer for a little while, as you can see the, the frosting on there. Al Leiter is leading off. They're a little bit stuck together, but I don't think we'll see any paper loss here. Reggie Jefferson. J and W cards. What's going on? Reggie Sanders. And the last one being Shane Reynolds. This will probably be a relatively quick break. But um, obviously the 98 tops had the gold border design that they had for a couple years there. Pack one down on the pack two. Hoping for some nice insert cards in here. There's quite a few insert sets. And like I said, the refractor parallels for every single card, the 221 card series. And we have an interleague preview card here of Pudge, Rodriguez, and Larry Walker is a nice one there. Definitely remember those cards in the regular top set. And there's a look at the back. Very nice looking cards though. Edwin Diaz, Fernando Vina, and uh, the John Melenton ends that pack out. Hey, Mike, what's going on? Or Juan Gonzalez, my bad, Paul. <laughs> I was looking through a bunch of old cards before the break, and I think some players are still stuck in my head. Thanks for correcting me on that one. There is John Wetland on the back of this pack, and Andres Galarraga leading off here. And look at this, our first insert card. Roger Clemens Milestone, that's pretty freaking awesome. Never seen one of those before. Let's check out the back of this one. MS2, very, not very, very nice. Not really sure what kind of value these cards hold, but that is definitely a shiny looking one. Bernie Williams, and there's John Wetland with, I don't know what kind of blemish that is in the background there. It's an interesting looking card. Very interesting with the... Shapes in the background there. Mike, the best rookie is really Mike Kadir, Corey Lytle, and um, Troy Gloss are the big names. Hopefully we see one of those. We've got three packs left for Chris. So far off to a good start. Joe Yankee, Bradley, everybody else, thanks for popping in here. Ripping for Ripken says Frostbite. Willie Blair leading off here. And these definitely are nice cards. You can usually pick up a box of these yourself for about 50, 60 bucks. There's Heathcliff. I guess, yeah, it must just be something with the frosting there. Brian Johnson and Andy Ashby. Should sure probably go away within, I don't know, a half hour or an hour. Move on to pack four here. Brian McRae. Crap wrappers there. Stoning Hitchcock. Leading off. What else do we have here? Travis Fryman. Shotgun's Clause is a lot cheaper than back in 98. Yeah, no doubt about it. Dustin Hermanson. Yeah, a lot of these cards have that. And there is the Brian McRae. There's quite a few insert cards, Mike. 
Check out like Baseball Cardpedia. And Paul Molitor, I would have been really stoked on this one back in 98. Or even 97 when I was collecting him. Another interleague preview card. I like these um, back then. Chipper Jones and Nomar Garcia Parra. And back-to-back -back interleague preview cards in the last pack here for Chris. Bagwell and the Big Hurt. Another nice one there. Hey, classic cards, Eric. What's up, buddy? And look at this. It's a refract. Ah, oh, Travis Lee, rookie class refractor. We would have been flipping out about this back in 1998. That is crazy. And there is the Paul Molitor. Very, very nice. I knew Paul L would get kicked out of that. I'm pretty sure it's a refractor rookie class. I've never seen the regular ones, but Travis Lee, man, was he a big, big prospect back around that time. That would have been a very high dollar card, especially for a refractor. <clears throat> that ends the stack out for Chris A. I definitely remember pulling Travis Lee's 97 Bowman out of a pack, and I think at one point it was like a $50 card, which is pretty crazy. Craig B says, Rookie Class Refractor is 1 in 24 packs. Hey, Fall Creek Collectibles, what's going on, buddy? The next one's going to be the top right, which is going to be to Supper. John C. Supper is his user name on here. Let me carefully dig these out. And four more. So six packs here for John. Hey, Jay's Openings, what's happening, man? Thanks for joining us. You just missed the... Rookie class refractor pool. And Troy Percival leading off here on the back. And here's our first like rookie combination card, Dustin Carr and Luis Cruz. This is actually what Troy Gloss um, rookie card looks like, followed by another one here, Marcus McCain and Cedric Bowers. Hey, TX Breaks, what's going on, buddy? He said, I pulled the 2001 Tops each row rookie on Saturday, curb rash all over the front and back. Uh, geez, that's why I have not touched 2001 yet. Bip Roberts and Troy Percival. Hey, check the debt. What's going on? Yeah, I'm kind of worried. I would love to open some 01 stuff, but they are very well known for being bricks. Notorious for paper loss. Chet says, Troy Gloss rookies are pretty hot back in 98. They definitely were. Michael Tucker. They still have some value to them. I think the Corey Lattle rookie is probably the most valuable and another insert look at that is it a refractor i think it's a griffey refractor milestone that is pretty freaking epic john c that definitely makes up for the travis lee pull in the last stack there wow very very nice looking card i think we definitely need to put that in something right away i put it on one touch i still have a few of these left Laying around over here from that case that John H. sent a long time ago. Very good-looking Griffey there. We have we have good luck with pulling Griffeys. We pulled the Atomic Refractor out of the 97 Bowman recently. The um, Bowman's Best Refractor out of the 94. But that is pretty freaking nice. Craig B., thank you for the uh, input there. It said the Milestone Refractor is 1 in 72 packs. So that is pretty freaking nice. Congrats to John C., I would be very, very stoked about that one. Might be the case hit right there. Hey, Tone Penley, what's going on, buddy? Eric Young. And there is the Ishmael Valdez. Valdez. I used to call him Valdez, Valdez all the time when I was younger. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it or not. I can't remember. We got four packs left for John and no more on the back there. Hey, Card Collector 24, what's going on? Ben Ford. I thought that was a Corey Lattle rookie for a second there. So far, some nice inserts. Shannon Stewart, there is an Olerud. Hey, Thatcher, what's going on? And the No More Gold Cup card. Yeah, that was a pretty hot one back in the 90s, too. I remember having uh, the Raider Tops one. Ben Blevins says, are you going to the National in December? I definitely would like to. It kind of sucks that they decided to pick to have it a week before Christmas. So that's only going to hurt them in the long run as far as, I don't know, people spending money there and vendors setting up. Dave DeLucci. Yeah, I definitely would like to go. I've talked to Eric about it, too, and he said that he did say at one point he wanted to go, but that was um, before I think he found out it was in December. Johnny Damon and Jeff Juden. Ben Grieve was 97, I believe, Doug. I'm pretty sure because I definitely remember being on board the Ben Grieve bus at one point. I think it was 97. Hey, Criterion Racer Lee. Thank you, buddy. It's good to see you. Thank you for being here.
Brick D's one. Sean Dunstan, Pete Shurik, and my Butterfingers, Bobby Smith, and Bobby Higginson. Joe's Card Curl at Jeff Juden was for you. And the last pack for John C. And we have a Bonds on the back, which is a nice one. Probably the best base card that we will see so far. Rich Butler, some repeat coalition here. Hey, Swing Away, what's going on? Manny Alexander. It looks, it looks a lot like Sosa in that picture. It's kind of weird. And very, very nice Bonds, though. like that one. <laughs> Tina Red Rob says, I got ants in my pants and I want to dance. <laughs> nice Bonds, but definitely for you guys popping in here now. Um, just pulled this out of the last stack. The Griffey Milestone Refractor. Pretty freaking nice. According to Craig B, it's 1 in 72 packs. This one looks... Uh, very nice as far as uh, the corners go. So, congrats to John C. Very nice hit. Hopefully, we see something equally as nice. That takes us to our good buddy Craig B. Or at Novin SLD. He just put a video out like a couple hours ago. A um, box war challenge with Dave Durango. So if you're not subbed to Craig B, then you are blowing it big time. It's one of my favorite channels. Craig B in the background there. And uh, there's 357 Maggots. It's Griffey Jr. 98 Tops Chrome Milestone Refractor. PSA 10 Pop 5 on eBay now for 300 bucks. Holy crap, man. That is freaking awesome. Thank you for that uh, that update. 357 Maggot. Good to see you, man. So 300 bucks. Is that sold listings or that's that just what it's listed at? But PSA 5, though, that's, I mean, geez, that's got to be at least a, a freaking 8, I would think. Just by first glance, I'm no expert on grading, but um, wow, that's a beautiful looking card, though. As Craig Beast is pulling me some fire. Craig, thank you, man. Please make sure you're subbing up to these channels like Novin SLD. I know it sucks that you can't just click on it anymore and shoot over to their channel. Looks like we might have an insert card in here. But Craig B, one of my favorite channels, definitely a good dude. We have a rookie card here, Jack Cust, the first um, rookie we were looking for. Didn't really have a super long career, but um, definitely still solid nonetheless. And it seems like these rookies travel in packs. Jack Cust and Jason um, Standridge, another name I don't really remember. Um, Vladimir Nunez and... I can't read that name. Sandoval. And rookie class, Paul Canerco is definitely a nice one. Definitely compared to uh, the first one we saw, Travis Lee. Nice name there. Not a refractor like the other one, but definitely a cool insert card. Mike Fetters. Chet, that's a Jack Cusk. It hit some dingers about all he was good at. Yeah, no doubt about it. And Paul, or Craig says Paul K is a good rookie. Yeah, he's probably one of the best ones in that insert set. FDC says, how much for a box of these? It seems like they're around 50 or 60 bucks. Somewhere in that range. I, I think I paid like almost 60 bucks somewhere in there. Fernando Vina leading off. We saw him earlier. Todd Hunley. And nothing else too notable in that pack. Hey, Fitzy25 Perez. Thanks for joining us. And there's Doug O'Shea. It says, thanks, John. Good to see you, Doug. Thank you for being here, man. TJ Matthews leading off in this pack, and a one in Carnation. I'm guessing it's going to be rookie class. I just had a feeling there. Um, not really a big prospect. Darren Oliver and Jeff D'Amico, or as we called him as kids, Eric and I, Jeff D'Amico. <laughs> I'm sure Joe probably remembers that. Three packs left. Appreciate you guys for all being here. It's definitely fun. I've never opened a box of Toff's Chrome, and... Uh, people would have requested it, so I figured I'd start out with one of the lower end ones. Like the box, I think the 96 I was looking at were like over 100 bucks. And uh, what do we have here? Tina Martinez and Gary Sheffield interleague preview is a nice one. I like those cards. Kirk Ruder and Ta or Bob Tewksbury ends that pack, taking us to two more, and then one final stack with Joe Yankee. Being in the last here. Don't forget to save says I love Topps Chrome. Well, thank you for being here. And Trent says we'll be heading to Hokey G's in two weeks. That's awesome, man. Hokey G's is, is freaking sweet. I try to go there every few months. Miguel Cairo, Jorge Fabriguez. Yeah, Hokey G's is definitely a nice uh, 
Nice place. There's a crime dog. Cool one. And Chipper Jones. Two nice ones back to back there. Second to last pack. And good luck in this one. Red Rob says there used to be a good card shop in Bedford back in the day. Interesting. Silent Collector says I hate when the cards are stuck. These ones aren't too bad. They definitely are stuck a little bit. There's a little bit of resistance, but there's no paper loss. I feel like with Chrome, you never really have paper loss. Bobby Abreu leading off. I'm sure people don't really care looking up my Nosferatu fingers. Rob Nen looking really pissed off. Shout out to Frank the Tank. He's a Rob Nen collector. And Ryan McGuire, our third refractor. Could have been a little bit of a better one, but still cool to see three. The odds are one in 24, or two in 24 packs, or two per box. But Ryan McGuire, I don't really remember too much about him. I remember really hear, even hearing that name so much back then. But three refractors in, um, what, 18 packs so far? So pretty good luck. And obviously, to the new guys coming in here, this is the box hit so far, the Griffey Refractor Milestones. Really stoked about that. But Craig B. Actually, I've switched, I switched them up. I almost gave Craig B. two spots. That was Craig B.'s spot. This is Joe, Joseph Yankee slash Joseph Baumgarten. I had one too many. No, I didn't. Just pretty tired. Will Clark on the back here. Always good to see him. Yeah, or Jorge Fabrigas. James Long that says that Griffey is sick. Yeah, I was pretty stoked about that, man. For it to be a refractor, too. What are the odds? John Franco on there is a Will Clark. Yeah, we'll show it again at the end of the stream. Give it a little closer look. And then I'll show you a preview of what's coming next week. Red Rob says, have you ever been to Juniata Cards? Yeah, we used to go there a good bit. We used to go there like monthly. I definitely plan on going back there once the Altoona flea markets open back up. Brooks Kiesnick, another refractor. Who's it going to be? Whoa, look at that. Corey Lytle refractor. That is freaking awesome. Joe Baumgart, you have the best luck with refractors, man. Wow. I was hoping we were just going to see the regular rookie card of his. That is pretty freaking epic. Corey Lattle, no longer with us, passed away tragically in a plane crash back in 2006. Very, very tragic, but that is a very, very nice one. Very nice. Probably the best rookie card you can pull out of uh, this entire set. And for it to be a refractor, what are, the, what are the odds? That is pretty epic. Rest in peace to Corey Lattle, and congratulations to Joe. That is an awesome one, man. I am stoked. Dennis Reyes and Calvin Escobar. Joe, Joe Baumgarten has the best luck when it comes to refractors. He always, always gets gets them, rookies and refractors. That is pretty freaking awesome, man. So we've seen four refractors now in a 24-count box. Brad Penny, rookie card. Paul says, too bad you can't see Ray's chubby face in that card. You like his 97 Bowman card? Classic cards has almost had it, Craig. Jason Schmidt actually just bought his rookie card off of eBay recently. Ryan McGuire is 94 tops traded. I think I paid like a buck for it or something like that. Classic cards as I see a John Pepino mail day. That was sweet. I didn't even see you upload the video. Yeah, Pepino man, shout out to you. He actually he saw my Desert Shield video, the, the set I was putting together, and he sent me two um, cards I didn't have. So I sent him some stuff in return. Chris Carpenter. Uh, Andre, or wait, I'm skipped one here. Orlando Cabrera. That's a second year card for him. Andre Scalaraga, and there is Jermaine's Al Jermaine Allensworth. I was never really stoked on him, even though he's a bucko. Craig B says, I got the Ryan McGuire refractor. Hey, T Dog Shea, how you doing, buddy? The last two packs, we got a Max on the back here. Always a good sign. Walt Weiss. It's going to be an all Braves pack here. Maybe an insert card inside. Darren Fletcher. And what is this? Craig Biggio, Clout 9. I feel like I remember pulling those, a Clout 9 card out of the like, late 90s tops when we ripped those a while back. But nice Hall of Famer. Craig Biggio, back-to-back -back Hall of Famers. These are nice-looking cards, though. I want to say we pulled a Griffey out of like 90, uh, 97 or 98 tops when we did it before Clout 9. Very, very nice. Back-to-back -back there. Joe B has some amazing luck. And that takes us to our last pack of tonight. This has been a freaking awesome box. The Griffey Refractor, Corey Lytle Refractor, some of these uh, 
inserts we've seen, minus the Travis Lee, Jeff Conine, Carpovano, Roberto Alomar is a nice one too. Not, Craig Beast's Clout 9 is considered to be the best insert in this set. That's kind of what I was thinking. I feel like those are the hardest ones to pull. And Mark Bellhorn. I want to say Paul L. is a Mark Bellhorn fan. That ends the stack out. But what a box, huh? Um, quick recap here. Joe B. Man, the Clout 9 Biggio was a freaking awesome one. And then I'm trying to get my smudgy fingerprints all over these. But luckily, um, I still got frost all over them from the freezer. Um, where is that refractor? There it is. The Corey Lotto Refractor was a freaking epic pull. So congrats on that, Joe. And then uh, this one from earlier. Man, what a freaking awesome card. Griffey Refractor Milestone. So definitely uh, worth the 50 or 60 bucks for the box. That goes to John C. out in California. Check the debt says sleeve up that bid, Gio. I definitely will. I, I sleeve up all the Hall of Famers or stars and... Um, all the hits get in, put into top loaders or one touches or whatever else. Next week, we are going to do um, 2008 Upper Deck Timeline. I don't know if you guys have ever seen these before. I've never opened them. Uh, possible Clayton Kershaw rookie, Max Scherzer rookie card. There's a ton of autographs, a ton of insert cards to be found in here. Um, and they have like all the old designs too, like, 90, like the 90s SP designs, which are freaking awesome. So... Pretty excited to rip through those next week. And then um, either tomorrow or Thursday, probably Thursday, I'm going to be doing a big auction. I have a ton of stuff to kind of liquidate. Um, a lot, uh, this one might be uh, like a, um, a bulk lot auction, I'm thinking. I've had a lot of people contact me about like vintage cards for building sets, about like uh, the older hockey cards. So I just started putting them in stacks. Like these ones we saw the other day, these, what are these, 79, 80, um, with the tops with the um, Gretzky rookie card in the set. I don't have it in the stack, but um, that and then these like late 80s ones. So like this would be one lot and we'd start out at a buck. So it'd be buck, a buck and then you'd pay shipping. So everything starts at a buck. There's like a Michael Jordan lot from like, the, I think these are like, late 80s early 90s just a bunch of random michael jordan cards um this will be starting at a buck so just like a quick preview of some of the stuff and then i'm going to do a rookie card auction which is going to be uh there's gonna be a lot of stuff involved in that it's going to be separate there's like stacks of like 80 tops uh, you know old football cards um 75 tops 81 tops so like i'm gonna just put all that stuff out there for a buck so um no reserve, nothing like that. That'll be coming hopefully Thursday, and then, um, I don't know, we'll do the rookie card auction, vintage auction, and inserts separately. So hopefully you guys stick around to catch that on Thursday, and then next week we'll be back for the uh, timeline, which I'm pretty stoked to rip into that. So that's it. That's all I have for you guys tonight. Freaking awesome break. Congrats to the guys that got the, uh, the best cards. I think you all made out pretty well. Um, I'll see you guys in a couple days. Thanks for watching, guys.